In the realm of Andean mythology, where the peaks of the Andes pierced the heavens and the sun cast its golden rays upon the land, there lived a deity of immense power and benevolence, Tiwanaku, the god of creation and protection. His name, meaning the center of the world, spoke of his central role in the cosmos, as he was believed to be the architect of all that existed and the guardian of all that lived. Legends whispered of Tiwanaku's origins, tales that spoke of a time before time, when the world was a vast, empty void. From the depths of this void, Tiwanaku emerged, a radiant being of pure energy and consciousness. He brought forth the elements, shaping them into the mountains, rivers, and seas that adorned the earth. He breathed life into the creatures that roamed the land, from the smallest insect to the mightiest beast. And he created humanity, beings endowed with intelligence, creativity, and the capacity for love. Tuanako's creation was not merely an act of power but an expression of his boundless love and compassion. He watched over his creations with a tender gaze, guiding them through the trials and tribulations of life. He taught them the arts of agriculture, weaving, and pottery, enabling them to sustain themselves and build thriving communities. He bestowed upon them the gift of language, allowing them to communicate their thoughts, dreams, and aspirations. And he instilled in them a sense of morality, a compass to guide their actions and ensure harmony among all beings. As the protector of his creations, Tawanako stood as a sentinel against the forces of chaos and destruction. When natural disasters struck, he intervened with his divine power, calming the storms, quelling the earthquakes, and restoring balance to the world. He shielded humanity from malevolent spirits and guarded their dreams from nightmares. And he stood as a beacon of hope in times of despair, reminding them of their inherent strength and resilience. Tuanako's presence was felt throughout the land, not only in the grand spectacles of nature but also in the quiet moments of everyday life. He was the warmth of the sun on a farmer's face, the gentle breeze that carried a mother's lullaby, and the laughter of children playing in the fields. He was the guardian of the hearth, the protector of the family, and the source of all blessings. In the temples and shrines dedicated to his honor, people gathered to offer prayers and sacrifices, seeking his favor and protection. They adorned his altars with flowers, fruits, and precious stones, symbols of their devotion and gratitude. They performed sacred rituals and dances, invoking his presence and seeking his guidance. And they shared stories of his kindness, his wisdom, and his unwavering love for all living beings. As the ages passed, Tuanako's legacy continued to inspire and guide the people of the Andes. His teachings became the foundation of their moral code, his stories the source of their cultural identity, and his presence the anchor of their faith. Generations upon generations grew up knowing that they were watched over by a benevolent and loving creator, a protector who would always be there for them, no matter the challenges they faced. And so, in the heart of the Andes, the legend of Tiwanaku, the god of creation and protection, lived on, a testament to the enduring power of love, compassion, and the unwavering belief in the inherent goodness of all beings.